Um, Let's do this more interesting pinnacle rearrangement. So, um, hopefully you can tell it's a pinnacle rearrangement because already you got the die, um, the die all. So, uh, you should be thinking, at least thinking, that there potentially could be a pinnacle rearrangement. Also, you've got um, uh, acid here, sulfuric acid, so um, you can imagine it protonating one of these, hopefully, you can imagine it protonating one of these, because strong base, or strong acid, right? Good, um, good base for strong acid, right? So. You'd imagine the first step would be protonation of the alcohol oxygen, or the diol, whatever you want to look at it. That will uh, turn the bad leaving group of the hydroxyl into a good leaving group protonated hydroxyl group. And again, it wouldn't have mattered whichever one you would have protonated because you'll get the same product either way. And of course we also have um, HSO4 minus. Um, so the next uh, step of course would be uh, we've got a good leaving group, a um, stable molecule in and of itself, so it's going to be a good leaving group, water. So water leaves on its own, forming the tertiary carbocation. Okay, and uh, you can, so you see they're very stable, tertiary, tertiary carbocation, very stable. So um, what's going to happen is the initiation of the alkyl shift, the 1-2 alkyl shift, remember? The 1-2 alkyl shift is preferable to the 1-2 hydride shift. Um, not to mention that there's no hydrogen there. Uh, so, this is going to, um, these electrons are going to promote that 1-2 alkyl shift, and then you can just see the bond move up like that, and attack that electrophile. So the intermolecular reaction happens really quickly. Rearrangement. So we've done that. Right? So we've got this still as a six-membered ring. Or, sorry. This has opened up from a six, this one still is a six-membered ring. This one has opened up from a one, two, three, four, five, six membered ring to this bond is now there, so it's going to be a seven membered ring. So you've got that. So we want to count so the proton's still there. So if you want to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And then attached to seven is that six membered ring. Like that. And remember, you got a positive charge here, so you're going to continue to have that positive charge there. And you can think of the catalyst being regenerated, the hydronium ion, by deprotonation of the ketone, so there's your seven members, let's just take that out. And then when we do that,
And then that H3O plus that's made will go on and perform another one. So it's actually catalytic once you form that H3O plus. It's catalytic in, in it. So more interesting pinnacle rearrangement. Um, again, here you're going to have that shift because there's no nothing else that can shift. So. Okay.